to be more careful when the wind rises, George. You nearly lost your kite. Had you two nearly lost your Georgie, he might have got away completely had I not been holding on to the other end of that string. We had done a lot of pictures for, for the studio prior, but all that time, Bob and I were working on Mary Poppins, and we knew it was the major, major jump in our career if it worked. And by the time we got the, the cast together and the sets together and everything, the orchestrations, we had these wonderful orchestrations by Erwin Costell, uh, it was just... I don't know, it was a piece of cake. It was great. We just had a wonderful time watching it happen. Come! Come look! Wait, where did you get that kite? I found it in the park. She kept it from blowing away. Mary. Oh, Pence. Close your mouth, please, Michael. We are still not a codfish. <laughs> Jane Banks. Still rather inclined to giggle, I see. It's about time they did a sequel. Mary Poppins should come back and spread the happiness again. I think it's great. And uh, they have a wonderful cast. That Emily Blunt, I saw some pictures of her and a bit of footage, and it's just thrilling. It really is thrilling. Come on up! Silly Jack! Sing for us, Mary Poppins! No, 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 no. Come on, have a go. No, I haven't sung in years. Sing for us, Mary Poppins. No, I couldn't possibly. D flat major. I think that the new writers, Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman, did a remarkable job, a beautiful job on the new songs. I'm very excited about that. Off we go. <laughs>